Hello guys, it's Sebi's Random Tech, back with another video. After, I know it's been a long time since I've made a video. Just kind of busy with everything. You know, college, all that stuff. Uh, but today we're going to be uh, doing a, starting a series of videos where we're going to be making upgrades to this Lenovo ThinkPad X230 laptop. Uh, this I bought off Craigslist for, I think I paid $150, 160 for it. Um, it's fully working as is, and it's actually in very good condition. I mean, there's only a few signs of wear on this thing to be seen. Um, it's almost in brand new condition. I'm almost afraid to work on it. Um, but I'm going to make this my personal laptop um, in conjunction with my ThinkPad T430, which is kind of my bigger daily driver. Um, upgrading the processor in that to a quad-core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, a hard drive and an SSD installed, it just flies. But I want something a little bit smaller that's still fairly powerful, and the X230 is very much just a shrunken down T430. In today's video we are going to be replacing the TN panel that comes with this laptop with an IPS display, because with an IPS display you will get much better colors, better contrast, better viewing angles. I mean, it's pretty much everything better than a TN panel. So I already have the IPS display over here. I already took it out of the box. And somebody just texted me at this ungodly hour. I'm filming this at 2 in the morning. <laughs> it's amazing that there's still people up at this point. But anyway, so let's dive right in. All right, so here's the X230 all booted up into Windows 10. Uh, right now this laptop has, let's see if I can find it, system I think we go to. Yes, yeah, so this is running Windows 10, has 4 gigs of RAM, Core i5 3320M processor, 2.6 gigahertz, Windows 10 Pro, 1366 by 768 TN panel, which is what we're going to be replacing. I think it's important that we shut down the laptop before we do anything. Say goodbye to the TN panel. Okay, so the greatest thing about this mod is that we don't even have to really take the laptop apart in order to replace the screen. All we really have to do is take these two little plastic pieces out, remove the two screws underneath, and then this entire front bezel just pops off with snaps. So, one thing it might help to do is take the battery out first. Should have done that already, but you know me. Gotta make things fun. So, just pop the battery out so that this thing doesn't start up on us while we're replacing the display. And now what you're going to do, you can see this little piece right here. You're just going to get a little prior or a small screwdriver and just carefully lift that off. And that came off very easily. I'm quite happy about that. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Just be careful. There we go. I scratched it a little bit, but it's okay. All in one piece. And this exposed two screws. So now, we're going to remove these two screws. Now, the rest of this bezel is all snapped into place. So you're just going to have to find a fine, um, plast preferably plastic, but just something thin that you can slide underneath the bezel here to pry it out. Right here would probably be a good place to start, <laughs> since we have a little opening already. And just reach under there, where all the snaps are. Be careful about it, you don't want to break any of the snaps. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a little bit of adhesive that you have to get off. And there we go. The bezel is off. So now all we need to do, there's a screw here, 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 and here. I'm going to take those out. So now that these four screws are out, uh, with a little, little bit of effort, you should be able to lift the panel out. Um, it helps if you... You're going to lift it from here, and you don't want to just rip it out, because there is a connector right here that we have to take off first. So you're just going to lift the tape up. So you're just going to lift this tape off and then pull, and then the connector comes right out. So the old connector is off. You can just set it to the side, put it in the packaging that the new screen came in. Now we'll get this new screen, put it in a place, and then just carefully slide the connector back into place and put the tape down. And then, just make sure the cable gets back where it's supposed to go. Put the screen in place, and we are all set. Just like that, we have a new IPS panel in our X230, or X220. This pretty much is the same procedure for both models. Just put the screws back in, tighten them down, but not too tight because that puts unnecessary stress on the panel and we don't want that. Okay, so before we put the bezel back on and put everything back in place, we're just going to pop the battery in and turn this on real quick to make sure everything is working. And we do have an image on the display. And it is starting Windows. Looks like we are good. Good, good, good. And this is already looking a lot better than that TN panel. Just the viewing angles alone, like look at that, you could not do that before. So that is just looking great. And is this, is the brightness all the way up? Yeah. Just a much, much better panel than the original. And I'll put a shot-by-shot -shot comparison in a second. But, so let's put this bezel back on, and then we should be good to go. Alright, so now that the bezel is back in place and everything, you can see we have this nice, bright, high-contrast display that looks miles better than the original display. It really, you really have to see it in person to see how much of a difference this is. This is just a much, much better display than the original X230 display. I paid $60 for this panel off of Amazon. You can find it for around that much on eBay as well. Um, if you pay more than $80 or $90 for it, you're probably getting ripped off. Just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm very happy with this upgrade. It's no higher resolution. There is a Full HD 1080p mod for this thing. Uh, you get an IPS 1080p panel and there's a little board you solder into here to make it work, but for me that's just too high of a resolution for a computer of this size, so I'm perfectly fine with 1366 by 768 and again, like, just the colors and contrast alone and the viewing angles, it's just so much better. Alright, so overall I can say that I am absolutely satisfied with the uh, IPS panel upgrade. It is a huge improvement in picture quality over the TN panel. Uh, the contrast is definitely better. The image is a lot brighter. The colors look more natural. They don't look as washed out. The viewing angles is just kind of the icing on top of the cake. It means that like, if I'm watching a video or something, I don't have to constantly adjust the screen to get it just where my eyes are, like I can be a little bit more lenient about where the screen is and I can still watch it and enjoy the TV show, movie, YouTube video, whatever. And um, does 
ha have any any other benefits like for productivity, for work stuff, or school stuff. That's debatable, but uh, it, it's definitely nicer to have a nicer screen to be able to work and play on. So I will leave a link to the screen that I bought on Amazon down in the description. Of course you can just go on eBay and type in X230 IPS panel and there will be plenty of the results that come up. Uh, the quality of all of them I don't know. Um, I actually took a bit of a gamble with this one because most of the ones I saw on eBay were in the $80 to $90 price range and this was only $60. And maybe it isn't the best panel out there, but it looks very good to me, and it's a huge upgrade over the original panel. So uh, buy at your own risk. You can buy the one I bought. You can buy a different one. It's all up to you. And uh, I hope you guys stay tuned for part two, where we will be replacing the keyboard and the palm rest with one from a X220 laptop. And we will also be upgrading the RAM and the storage in this laptop. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.